Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a Brilliant Businesses podcast. My name is Nick Bryant, and um, I'm very privileged this morning to be joined by a gentleman who's got a business which is going really, really well only after a year. Um, Roy Smith from RTJ of Sussex. Morning, Roy. Morning. How are you? A <laughs> little bit out of my comfort zone, but... <laughs> You're going to be fine, mate. You're going to be fine. Um, Roy's business is uh, a fire safety specialist company, but he also looks after fire door maintenance. He does locksmith servicing, um, pack testing. He's, uh, he does painting and handyman. So the business has grown from, I think, from just a handyman to all these sort of other things that he does. Uh, and it's grown um, tremendously in the last year. But we're going to start off, as we always do in Brilliant Businesses, Roy, about you telling us your story about how you got to where you are. So take it away. So, yeah, I joined um, Park Holidays UK as a maintenance manager in 2019. Yep. Uh, very much had brief ba- uh, maintenance experience background, but not a lot to do with that industry, moving caravans and stuff. But obviously, yeah. the manager at the time needed a manager to come in and sort the team out. So that was sort of my chance, really. Yeah, and okay. Yeah. I love a challenge, so took it on really well. Um, then COVID hit, unfortunately for everybody. Uh, mm-hmm. I carried on working because being a maintenance manager, we still had to work through COVID. But it sort of gave me a reflection on my future and where I wanted to go. So I started looking at self-development with online courses. So I've done various diplomas, level five, level seven stuff to progress within the whole of the inter- park industry. Yeah. But it sort of come to an end in, in 2022 where I just, every time I went for an interview, you know, somebody was better than me or was yeah. me to the post and mm-hmm. it's like, so I got to the point, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna look somewhere else. So I didn't plan on starting my own business. I handed my notice in and I was gonna join, you know, another business. And, yep. Um, halfway through working my notice, my son, who's a bricklayer, was looking to offload his little Ford Connect. Uh-huh. And it's all went from there, and I was like, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to have a go on my own. Excellent. So, yeah. yeah, bought the van off my son, bought my first little tool bag, and yeah, the business was generally my vision then in June 2022 was a handyman gardener. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't see anything beyond that. That's that was what I was going to do, and that was the service I was going to supply. So, yeah, we started the business up around that, and all the marketing was around that. Mm. Um, and then on June in September, I then went and visited my first BNI chapter. Yeah, um, I was invited along, and yeah, really liked the room and the people that were in there, and joined the chapter in the first of October, and sort of never looked back really. And from there, what the chapter gave me individually was you've got 20 plus business owners that Mm. are they've had their struggles some are successful they've been around 30 years yeah so on so forth but you end up with 20 business owners that are your personal advisors or something that's it yeah but it's free yeah they'll give you that information because you're in that room and Mm. if they what you what they value that you're going to give to the room back and stuff and the business you're looking at and that's sort of where we then went to the fire safety stuff and I started looking into and researching fire safety, so fire extinguishers, uh, fire doors, fire door maintenance. Yeah. And re- realised that in this area, there was a real niche and a gap in the market for fire door maintenance. Mm, mm. There's a lot of businesses out there, but it's national stuff and there's not a lot of local. So, yeah, networking with other people, yeah. it was like, yeah, I, I can see there's a, there's a gap there, but I need to do it right. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, like you were saying earlier, I, I'm surprised that businesses, or, sorry, companies that or, or people have buildings don't realise that their fire doors can be repaired rather than, rem- than replaced. Um, and there's not many other people out there that do it that way. They just go straight in for the replacement. Um, yeah, because yeah. It's, it's, it's easy. Yeah. From, from a carpenter's point of view or fire door technician's point of view, it's always easier starting from scratch. Mm. No matter what you do, you know, it, that's, you know, from any industry. And... That's where it's. I see that. Hold on a minute. You know, there's a, there's a lot of doors, and, and people will tell you in the industry some of the doors from the 60s. Yeah. They might not be certified fire doors, but we know and you know that they're probably better than what you could buy nowadays. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So why would you want to change them when mm. you can adapt them, do the maintenance on them, and, and you'll have probably one of the best fire doors on the market. Yeah. Yeah. But as I said, businesses are not offering that, and that's where I see. RTJ, you, you go into that gap. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fill that void. Yeah, yeah. And give people, you know, because fire door maintenance is half the price. Yeah. And with the world we're living in and, and you know, everything's going up, yeah. people are struggling. Mm. 
and that falls all in line with the the fire safety and the fire extinguishers and all that sort of other stuff you do as far as safety fire safety goes you you've had to get qualified for that sort of stuff yeah so yeah, yeah when i done my uh, fire extinguisher course um there was nowhere local to, to do it so i had to go to um the fire brigade college up in morton marsh yeah um it's a four-day course and you have obviously have to stay in the area so it actually worked out as a sole trader. It cost me twelve hundred pounds just to do one course, which was a big gamble for me at the time. Yeah, because, sure. Yeah, it's a big cost, isn't it? Yeah, it's nearly a month's salary that the income that we was getting in. But mm. yeah, my, I'm a man that works on my gut, and my gut was telling me, "Yeah, do it. Yeah, we, we got to do it." That's Best decision have you ever made, right? <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, definitely. <laughs> that, that and BNI, and mm. I. Mm. The two of them, yeah, is, is made the business where it is now, and yeah, yeah we're just growing by the day which is lovely yeah I, I was speaking to someone the other day about you and um, they said that if, if they were going to ever, ever give anyone advice to start a business and do it the right way for the first year they said go and look we'll see what Roy's done and I think that's because of um, your marketing and the way I mean doing things like this for a business which is as young as yours is really impressive uh, your website is spot on it's really on point and um, but you do other stuff as well um, I mean you're involved with BNI but you went straight to the top table um, and was on the committee I think that's really important because it gives you makes you look you know authoritative um, but you also help and sponsor local charities and get involved with those don't you yeah to, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, our main cha local charity for us is the Children's Respite Trust in Upfield. Um, so we do, we very, quite often we sponsor their local events. If it's comedy night, 90s night, um, we are, uh, I am an ambassador okay. for the Children's Respite Trust. Yeah. So yeah, we've got an event tonight, so that's quite, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Uh, and also we, um, as a thank you back to them for what they're doing, because it's very difficult for them and, and, and the service they offer mm -hmm. for disabled children. So we, um, as a business, we will do all of their work for them with no labour. Nice. So, yeah. you know, we just, we, on certain things like fire doors and that sort of stuff, fire extinguishers, we just charge them the materials that we're going to use. Okay. They pay no labour for our time to go and do it. Mm. Nice. Um, so that, yeah, so that's one. Uh, we've just become a lifetime member at, for the friends at Eastbourne District Hospital. So, okay. Yeah, that's quite nice. What, did, what does that mean? What, what does that what, did, what does that do? What do you, what do you help with? One, it was just the finance. So you pay to become a lifetime member. So okay. that, that's more for where they need it right here. They right need now. the money. They need yeah. the money. Yeah. So that's fine. Mm. But then you're open onto their network. So when they have events, you're involved in that via email and stuff. And then it's it's voluntary stuff. So you yeah. can then get involved, and which we will do down the line if there's a any charity events that we can get involved in. Mm. Um, mm. Yeah, and then finally, uh, we've just signed uh, two weeks ago our first sponsorship. Yeah. So um, a local, um, local talented dark player, he's, he's now 40, so it's sort of, in the darts world, it's sort of his last chance saloon. Yeah. And he put a post on Facebook, and being a fellow dart player, I quite like to play darts yeah. and stuff. See his post, and I was like, you know, we're not a massive company, as you said. We're, mm. we're growing nicely, but mm. there was a little bit in the reserve, and I was like, "I want to meet with this guy." So we had a good meeting, and yeah, f fantastic to announce that we are his main shirt sponsor what, for the season. What's his name? Simon. Simon. What's his name? Can't I'm going to get it wrong. <laughs> okay, all right. Stop heart. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we can look that up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So for him, as I said, you know, our sponsorship for him yeah. gets him to the major events this year to get him into Q school which is the major one to get your PDC card okay uh, yeah so fingers crossed for him that he does well and more for him than us but yeah, if he yeah. can get a televised event yeah then and, and your logo will be on his shirts um, and you said you're doing a photo shoot with him later in the week yeah Friday yeah. or Saturday we, yeah. yeah all the shirts have arrived now all the logos so we're going to do a, a big um, photo shoot and then hopefully if we can get, get something in the Eastbourne Herald which would be quite nice nice yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah, looking forward to it. Excellent. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, RTJ, tell us what that means, because your children are involved, right? Yeah, yeah, so the R is Roy. Yeah. T is Tyler, my oldest son. Yeah. And J is Jordan, my middle son. Okay. Um, so, yeah, the, the, I don't own my house. We, okay. We rent. Yeah. So, the business is my support to them and such yeah. you know their inheritance as such yeah so down the line as i said when the business grows my boys will come on board yeah uh, then my girls if there's a yeah yeah you know, if, if they want to make if they if, if my daughters want to come out and do fire doors yeah. i'm happy you well, know what I mean? yeah well there's other roles that they can take on <laughs> yeah. isn't there you know so 
but yeah, so that's yeah, that's where the name come from. Okay. Yeah, it's just. So, yeah, so it's like a, a family legacy thing. You know, it goes on, it grows and grows. You hand it down. Hopefully they hand it down. Um, I guess that's the plan for the future. Exactly, yeah. yeah. We're, we're and then you can step back and relax for a bit. <laughs> hopefully, yeah. There's not many relaxing at the minute, but, no, you know, no. hopefully. We're, we're, yeah. that, that's, the biggest, that's the biggest bitch, Nick, for us is, yep. you know, it's a family business and mm. I want it to be a family business and, yeah, I want all the kids involved, my wife down the line. And, yeah. yeah we're, we'll see where it goes. It's, it's, you know, it can you go, take, it's, take each day as it yeah. comes, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, you're only as good as your next quote, I guess, is what they say, isn't it? <laughs> um, but just keep getting those quotes out there. Your vans are really impressive as well. If anyone sees, I mean, we, we can't miss them because the, the flames are all <laughs> over them, aren't they? They're awesome. And, and Norman did those um, from Sussex Sign Specialist, isn't it? So, Sussex yeah. Sign Company, yeah, Company, Company, yeah. Norm, yeah. Norman's great. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, what he yeah. does, as I said. But there were, Norman does graphics, but it takes three different companies to, to get it to where it is. Okay. So, obviously, you've got... Stephen from obviously Spark Printing, yeah. he does a lot of the graphic side of it and, and my logo and all my b business cards and that side of it. But yeah. then Danny has his input from the digital side of it, Danny yeah. from Fountain Digital. Yeah. And the three of them calibrate and bang, wow. Yeah, the, yeah. the end result is, is, as you can tell, it's fantastic. So. Yeah, really good. As is your website with the videos on there. I looked at the video this morning, it's pretty impressive. Yeah, so that, that, yeah, that blew my socks off. That was really yeah, good. Yeah, so, um, for, for people that don't know the website, what's the website URL? Um, Roy, rtjsussex.co.uk or? Uh, rtjfsussex.com Okay, alright, so people can check that out and have a look. What do you enjoy about it most, Roy? What's the best, best part of what you do? Well, a previous manager of mine um, at Park, uh, we had a few general managers while I was there, but one of them said to me, he loved me doing the health and safety f on his behalf of the park because he said, you're very analytical. Okay. So that helps in this industry, yeah, especially right. my industry. It helps yeah. with the fire door stuff and the research, but for me, it's having a, a, a job, a position that is different every day. Mm. No day is ever the same. Mm. And that is, in, and to me, that's important because we don't want to end up in a groundhog day. I know people do it and they love it. But for me, it's, it's being out and about and I'm, I'm hands on on the tools. Yeah. So I'm not back office, you know, but I wear many hats at the minute, as you would appreciate. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. Managing director, secretary, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. finance but, director. Like the pace of bills, <laughs> yeah. 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 But yeah, I still get out there, I still get my hands dirty, I still end up, you know, do a bit of painting, do fire door maintenance with my carpenter. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, and I'm the only one at the minute that does all your fire extinguisher stuff. So okay. I'm the only one qualified for that, so. Okay. Yeah. What sort of businesses are you looking for? Is, is there a niche for it, or is there a, um, a, an industry specific, or not really? No, not really from, no. not really industry. Good clients for us would be hotels and okay. care homes. Okay, Because... Yep. We can for their fire safety stuff that they need on a monthly and yearly basis. We can pretty much tick all the boxes from the fire extinguishers to the fire doors to the pack testing. Yeah, they're all really important for these in, for for these companies, and yeah. we can sort of cover all of that area for them. So that one business sort of does all as such, and we also, as as you know from the website, we work in partnership with local companies, so air type sec security, yeah, uh, Eastbourne fire alarm maintenance. Yeah. Summit environmental, you know, so we work in partnership with a lot of these. So mm. we can gently, when it comes to a building like a hotel, yeah, we can be their, their, their clients and we can pretty much cover the whole of their building. Yeah, yeah, it's not just one thing where they sort of sub it out to lots of different people. You can just do the whole thing. Yeah, they'll just yeah. deal direct with us and mm. then we will take the pressure off of them because we will find them approved contractors that we've used. Yeah. That we know what they say they're going to do, they're going to do. Yeah. Because um, that's really important when you start passing business around because at the bottom line is RTJs is the one that they're going to come to. So Absolutely, you've got yeah. to be really careful in business and but you've got to learn, you know, there's no competitor to us. We don't have competitors. No. no. So we have business relations. Yeah, okay. Nice. And that's important to yeah. us. So, yeah. Yeah, I think um, the customer services must be really important with what you do because um, they deal. Obviously, the the finished work has got to be important, but the dealing with with you um, or whoever they're dealing with has got to be really important and easy to deal with. You know, you've got to answer emails on time. You've got to pick up the phone. You've got to be there when they need you. Uh, and so, aftercare as well really is important, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So, as I said, you know, I wear many hats. So I'm yeah. the man that answers the phone, your emails, your invoices. Yeah. I send your invoices and stuff. But for me, and no matter how. The, de the business develops I will always have a hand in the training of the new people so if that's my yeah. son's coming on board yeah. or we start bringing in employees because I want the business to always be I've started it as transparent Yeah. so whatever we offer you 
from service to quote to invoice to workmanship is transparent. Yeah. So if you want to, you know, we'll guide you through the process. We'll give you the various options. And yeah, so that's important. And the service yeah. and workmanship is important. So mm. what, what you see, what we say you're going to get, you're going to get. Yeah. Yeah, and, people like that. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's important <clears throat> to us. As I said, we give you the options and you will make the final decision. We won't say you need this. We'll say, look, there's three options yeah. or two options. This is what we recommend on option one and two. And we leave that with you. We don't press you. So once we send the quotation, we don't phone you every every other day. We don't email you again. Yep. We'll give you a couple of weeks and then we'll send you one courtesy email and that's it. Yeah, don't hassle we, them too yeah, much. We, you won't hear nothing from us again until you're ready to pr- progress if you wish. Okay, so. nice. Yeah, that's a nice process. It's funny, going back to when you were working um, on the caravan sort of side of things and... Um, you, you're probably thinking, you know, this isn't, you know, I really would like to do my own thing, but, you know, where is it? How is it? Where is it? And it's funny, when you plant that seed and eventually something happens to make you go down that road and, road and you suddenly become an entrepreneur and you didn't even realise you were going to be there. No. Uh, it's, 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 it's great, isn't it? It's, I, I really like that. It's a fantastic <laughs> feeling and people mm. say to me, but, you know, as I said, you know, I do 70 hours a week. Do you? And yeah. Yeah, it's what I need to do. Mm. And it's what the business is. But mm. I, I don't have no regret. I love it. Yeah. You know, my wife might not, as I'm still <laughs> emailing at 10 o'clock <laughs> yes. at night. But she sees the picture and, she, and, you know, and my family are proud of me. And that's the important bit. My you, kids, my wife, and the people around me can see where I started to where I am now. Yeah. And the progression we're making and, and the service. We, you know, we've got 15 plus Facebook reviews, five star. Nice. We've got 13 plus Google reviews. Mm. You know, so that's important to us because that's people recognising what we're doing and giving us an honest review. So. Yeah, it's really important to have a good support mechanism with you, with your family, and that sounds like what you've got. That's really cool. So if anyone wants any information about Roy and uh, any fire safety um, work they need doing, right? <laughs> that's it. Um, fire door maintenance and also the, the, the locksmith stuff and the pat testing and those sort of things, obviously... Get in touch with Roy. I mean, all his details will be on this on this podcast underneath it, so you can get in touch with him. But have a look at his new website because it's pretty cool. Um, and um, and I can just give you a ring, Roy, and just chat with you and uh, you know, yeah, any my, requirements. Yeah, my phone's always on, and yeah, I'm happy yeah. To, to to pop and speak to businesses and stuff. And yeah. generally, no cost. We'll have, you know we'll have a coffee, a consultation yeah, sort of it thing. Co- it costs you a coffee. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> worth it, isn't it? Just so quickly, do you so how far do you go out? You 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 stay in Sussex, pretty much Brighton, Eastbourne. No, we're pretty no. much, no, we, we will go, so our pricing, as I said, because we're transparent, so our pricing is pretty much wherever we go in the country, the pricing is the same, so the attendance fee is the same, Okay. and, and per extinguisher price is the same, we just charge mileage. Okay. So we're pretty much go anywhere, I've, I've been and helped people out in Bracknell, okay. Basingstoke, right. Fleet. Okay. So right. yeah, we're pretty much go where we, where we need to, and okay. we'll, just, we'll charge mileage, which again, that way we can keep our cost transparent. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, and it's easier for us to, to manage, well, me to manage with quotes rather than having different prices, different areas. It starts getting a bit. Yeah, <laughs> no, it does. Yeah, it makes it tricky. But, um, oh, well, that's good to know. So, anyone all over the country can get in touch with you, basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Roy, it's great to talk to you, mate. Thank you for coming in. You too. Uh, thank you, Nick. It's uh, been a pleasure. And um, we'll, we'll see you all for another podcast soon. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you. Cheers.